Welcome to our Bible Quiz channel. Today we journey through the New Testament with 27 engaging questions that cover key events, figures, and teachings. This quiz explores significant moments such as the angelic visitations to Joseph, the healing of blind Bartimaeus, and the resurrection of the widow's son in Nain. You'll also encounter questions about the Apostles' actions, the teachings of Paul, and John's letters to the early church. Each question is designed to test your knowledge and deepen your understanding of the New Testament. Before we begin, please subscribe and like this video. Your support helps us continue spreading the message of the Bible and bringing you more engaging content. Are you ready to challenge your knowledge of the New Testament? Let's get started. Question 1. Who appeared to Joseph in a dream, instructing him to take Mary and the child Jesus to Egypt? A. Gabriel B. An unnamed angel of the Lord C. Michael D. A prophet You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, B, an unnamed angel of the Lord. Explaining the Bible, Matthew chapter 2, verse 13. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeareth to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Question 2. What was the name of the blind beggar that Jesus healed near Jericho, according to the Gospel of Mark? A. Bartimaeus B. Nicodemus C. Lazarus D. Zacchaeus You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, A, Bartimaeus. Explaining the Bible, Mark chapter 10, verse 46. And they came to Jericho. And as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. Question 3. Who did Jesus raise from the dead in the town of Nain, according to the Gospel of Luke? A. The daughter of Jairus B. The son of the widow C. Lazarus D. The centurion's servant You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, B, the son of the widow. Explaining the Bible, Luke chapter 7, verse 14. And he came and touched the bier, and they that bear him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. Question 4. According to the Gospel of John, who was the high priest that year when Jesus was arrested and brought to trial? A. Caiaphas B. Anas C. Zechariah D. Gamaliel You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, A. Caiaphas. Explaining the Bible, 
John chapter 18, verse 13, and led him away to Annas first, for he was father-in-law to Caiaphas, which was the high priest that same year. Question 5. Who was chosen to replace Judas as one of the twelve apostles in the book of Acts? A. Barnabas B. Matthias C. Paul D. Silas You get ten seconds. Correct answer, B. Matthias. Explaining the Bible, Acts chapter 1, verse 26. And they gave forth their lots, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles. Question 6. In Romans, how does Paul describe the kingdom of God? A. Righteousness peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. B. Wealth, power, and glory. C. Strength, health, and prosperity. D. Wisdom, understanding, and love. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, A, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Explaining the Bible, Romans chapter 14, verse 17. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Question 7. According to verse Corinthians, what is the body of the believer called? A. A temple of the Holy Ghost. B. A house of wisdom. C. A sanctuary of truth. D. A vessel of grace. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, A, a temple of the Holy Ghost. Explaining the Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? Question 8. In 2 Corinthians, who does Paul refer to as a new creature in Christ? A. Every person who is in Christ. B. Only the apostles. C. The children of Israel. D. The priests and Levites. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, A, every person who is in Christ. Explaining the Bible, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Question 9. In the book of Galatians, what does Paul say is the result of sowing to the Spirit? A. Wealth and success. B. Good health. C. Everlasting life. D. Wisdom and knowledge. You get 10 seconds.
Correct answer, C, everlasting life. Explaining the Bible, Galatians chapter 6, verse 8, For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. Question 10. In Ephesians, what kind of warfare does Paul say believers are engaged in? A. Spiritual warfare. B. Political warfare. C. Economic warfare. D. Physical warfare. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, A, spiritual warfare. Explaining the Bible, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Question 11. In Philippians, what is Paul's encouragement to the believers regarding anxiety? A. To give in to it. B. To ignore it. C. To cast it away. D. To pray about everything. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, D, to pray about everything. Explaining the Bible, Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Question 12. According to Colossians, who is the image of the invisible God? A. Moses B. The Holy Spirit C. Jesus Christ D. Elijah You get 10 seconds. Correct answer C. Jesus Christ Explaining the Bible, Colossians chapter 1, verse 15. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? Question 13. In 1 Thessalonians, what did Paul say would happen to those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ? A. They will be rewarded. B. They will be punished with everlasting destruction. C. They will be forgiven. D. They will be given another chance. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. B. They will be punished with everlasting destruction. Explaining the Bible, 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 9. Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His power? Question 14. In 2 Thessalonians, who did Paul say would be revealed before the coming of the Lord? A. The man of sin. B. The son of perdition. C. The lawless one. D. All of the above. You get 10 seconds.
correct answer, D, all of the above. Explaining the Bible, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Question 15. In 1 Timothy, what qualifications does Paul list for a bishop? A. Rich and powerful. B. Blameless, the husband of one wife. C. Skilled in warfare. D. Able to perform miracles. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, B, blameless, the husband of one wife. Explaining the Bible, 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 2, a bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach. Question 16. In 2 Timothy, what type of spirit did Paul say God has given believers? A. A spirit of fear. B. A spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. C. A spirit of weakness. D. A spirit of confusion. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. B. A spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Explaining the Bible, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Question 17. In Titus, what does Paul say the older women should teach the younger women? A. To be leaders. B. To be sober, love their husbands, and love their children. C. To rule over men. D. To seek wealth and power. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, B, to be sober, love their husbands, and love their children. Explaining the Bible, Titus chapter 2 verse 4, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. Question 18. In Philemon, what did Paul encourage Philemon to do regarding his runaway servant Onesimus? A. To punish him severely. B. To receive him as a brother in Christ. C. To sell him. D. To send him back to Paul. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, B, to receive him as a brother in Christ. Explaining the Bible, Philemon chapter 1, verse 16, not now as a servant, but above a servant, a brother beloved, specially to me, but how much more unto thee, both in the flesh and in the Lord. Question 19. In Hebrews, what is described as the substance of things hoped for, 
the evidence of things not seen. A. Faith B. Hope C. Love D. Grace You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, A, faith, explaining the Bible, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Question 20. In James, what analogy does James use to describe the tongue? A, a small fire that sets a forest ablaze. B. A sword that pierces. C. A rod that disciplines. D. A lamp that guides. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. A. A small fire that sets a forest ablaze. Explaining the Bible, James chapter 3, verse 5. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasteth great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindleth. Question 21. In 1 Peter, what does Peter say believers should do in response to suffering for righteousness' sake? A. Complain B. Be afraid C. Rejoice D. Seek revenge. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, C. Rejoice. Explaining the Bible, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 14. But, and if ye suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. Question 22. In 2 Peter, how does Peter describe false teachers? A wolves in sheep's clothing b clouds without water c vessels of wrath d stones of stumbling you get 10 seconds Correct answer, B, clouds without water. Explaining the Bible, 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 17, these are wells without water, clouds that are carried with a tempest, to whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever. Question 23, in 1 John, what does John say we should do if we confess our sins? A. Be judged harshly. B. Receive mercy and grace. C. Be forgiven and cleansed from all unrighteousness. D. Avoid all punishment. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, C, be forgiven and cleansed from all unrighteousness. Explaining the Bible, 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Question 24. 
Question 24. In 2 John, what does John caution believers against? A. False teachers who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. B. Observing the Sabbath. C. Eating meat. D. Praying aloud. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. A. False teachers who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. Explaining the Bible, 2 John verse 7, For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Question 25. In 3 John, what does John commend Gaius for? A. Being a prophet. B. Walking in the truth and showing hospitality. C. Preaching to the Gentiles. D. Writing letters to the churches. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. B. Walking in the truth and showing hospitality. Explaining the Bible. 3 John verse 3. For I rejoice greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee, even as thou walkest in the truth. Question 26. In the book of Jude, who contended with the devil over the body of Moses? A. Jesus B. Michael the Archangel C. Elijah D. Gabriel You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, B. Michael the Archangel, explaining the Bible, Jude verse 9. Yet Michael the Archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. Question 27. In the book of Revelation, what is the name of the sea that turns to blood? A. The Sea of Galilee B. The Great Sea C. The Mediterranean Sea D. The Sea of Glass You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, D, the sea of glass. Explaining the Bible, Revelation, chapter 15, verse 2. And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of God.